Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video for the month of March and I'm filming this kind of early because I know I won't be able to film it later but yeah, so first we're just going to start with makeup and I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while I've just been really busy like I always say I'm really sorry but I'm hoping I'll be put be able to post a lot more in the summer but I don't know because I'm traveling and stuff so let's just cross our fingers I've been trying to film some videos but I really just put content over videos for right now because I really want the videos to be great for you guys and turn out nice so yeah so let's just get started okay so first I'm gonna be talking about makeup so First two makeup products that are my favorites are my ultimate lip combo right now. And um sorry about the background noise. So um this is really amazing. It's a MAC lipstick. I'll try to put it in the description. Um, but it's the Cream Sheen lipstick in Peach Blossom. And it's really a beautiful color it's an amazing nude color it's so pretty do you see this color it's amazing I love it it's so beautiful I'm gonna do a quick swatch for you guys but here it is and it's so beautiful I love it it's such a nice peach toned pink and I love it so much and I've recently been just loving it again and then my next favorite lip product is sorry gotta get positioned but it's the Tanya Burr lip gloss so do you see how beautiful this color is so this is Tanya Burr cosmetics right here and it's the lip gloss and if you're gonna be like how do you get that? You live in the United States, not the UK. And Tanya Burr lives in the UK. And it's only sold in the UK. Well, um, my face is so many focus. Um, Lily actually got it for me. And, oh, to explain this little thing, this, like, little Japanese silk grow. I'm also Japanese, so I look pretty Japanese today. But, um, it's just so comfy. And I got it as a gift recently from... O's mom, so yeah, we like this little party thing, so yes, I love it. And then this is so pretty, and it's in the color Champagne Toast. I don't know if this was limited edition or whatnot, but I love the packaging, it's so elegant for drugstore. And the wand's really nice because it's really bendy. Do you see that? I love the brushes that are really flexible, so it doesn't really have too much color to it. It's more just a sheen of sparkle. If you can see that gloss right there, um, that shimmery light pink gloss. keeps on going in and out of focus don't really know what's up but that's this is the shade and it's so beautiful and really glossy and I love it on top of the lipstick the mask one because they're just such a great combo for everyday wear okay the next product I'm going to be doing are for the eyes next product I got you guys have not seen before and it's the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette and this is so exciting for me because I've never had a high-end makeup palette. And it's just so beautiful and amazing, if you can see here. Um, tell me if you want like a swatch video on it or something. I've never done anything like that. So i got to find good lighting. My mirror's kind of dirty, but... It says, Magic in the Magic's in the makeup. Oh my gosh, just touched the darkest shades. Uh, and it just gives me a lot of variety in shades to experiment with and regular neutral shades that I can really work with. And I really have been liking this color Stark right here. It's this really beautiful peach shade. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, actually. I'll just swatch it for you here. It appears a lot 
darker on your lid and it's a lot more buildable so there there it is that peach shade right there let me zoom you in so it's that peach shade right there and another one of my favorites is this Anaheim color and I also really like baby baby right here so I'll go ahead and swatch baby in Anaheim for you so baby is like a rose gold glitter and then Anaheim is like a really nice brown color that's just a really nice neutral brown that you can use all the time oh I'm putting it on top of something that's why it looks all chunky and ill do you see that? That is not how it's supposed to be. Okay. So here is Baby. Right there. It not that a beautiful shimmery shade? And then Anaheim is this brown color right there. There's Baby. And ignore this color. Um, but that the first one right there is Stark baby and then Anaheim so these are just beautiful colors amazing quality I love it and I got it for my birthday these shadows are absolutely amazing like do you see the color payoff on this blue shade right here like would you get this from any other palette like are we actually being serious like I'm going to put the blue on top of the pink. Probably not a good idea. Just made a purple. Okay. Not a good idea. Okay. It's making a purple. Why did I do that? Okay. So, the pink is amazing. If you mix the blue and pink, you'll get a purple. But that's actually a pretty cool thing. Mixing colors, guys. But, whatever. I just think this is an amazing palette and I need to stop talking about it otherwise I'm going to be rambling on it for days and it came with some samples that I have really been enjoying as well. I'm going to go off topic eyes wise but um, I got a sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I've really been enjoying it but I've only had it for like a week so I don't really know how much and I can't wear makeup at school and then I also got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara which is one of my mascara favorites right now. I really love it. I've just really been enjoying this mascara. It's amazing and it has a really nice wand and it's super buildable. I like zooming up because I don't know why it just focuses better but here's the wand and it's really amazing it just coats all your lashes and doesn't really make any clumps at all so I really love this I'm sorry if the lighting's getting lush I think I just got oh my god no it's got lipstick all over my kimono well my brow but let me go walk off my swatches don't want to get any more makeup on my brow we are clean and the next thing that's one of my favorites um i just like clear brow gels or clear gels and this is the essence lash and brow gel mascara i haven't been able to try it that much but i just love clear mascara lately because i um have been not really liking to wear mascara when i have i wore the perversion one but this one's just really nice it's like really cheap um it's in a fun color and i used to use the great lash clear one from maybelline but they're like all kind of the same um but it just coats your lashes and it keeps your brows in place because I like wearing mascara, making my lashes a little bit more noticeable and like hold a little better, which I think this provides. So, yeah. And this is orthomologically tested. So, like for your eyes, it's tested. It says on here, just read it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then. Let's go on to face because I have so many face favorites. It's so exciting. My first face favorite is the most important, and it's the Rodin Feels um, Reverse um, Number Four Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen. 
And now this is a really amazing sunscreen. And Red and Fields is actually this uh, this other brand. Um, and the owners are the same owners as Proactive. And this is the line that's just like for anti-aging. But this is just a sunscreen so it doesn't really matter for anti-aging. It doesn't really have any anti-aging properties in the... Um, and the sunblock it's just to help stop with the anti-aging because obviously any sunblock can do that but what I'm I love about this is it's not very sticky sorry I just have some stuff there so it rubs in so nicely and it's not sticky and plus it has a really nice neutral like kind of citrusy orangey smell like a creamsicle almost and it's really great because I love it because then you don't have to smell like ill sunscreen because I hate putting on sunscreen and this one just feels like really nice lotion so yes so that sunscreen is really nice but it's pretty expensive so I don't know if you want to buy sunscreen from there but it doesn't break me out um, a lot of sunscreens actually do. And then the next category is brushes. I'm just hopping around, so, but I'll keep this category as brushes. And I love it. Doesn't it look colorful and amazing? But, um, so I'm going to be using these brushes. And as you can see, you can know I use them because they're extremely dirty. And I haven't had them for that long. This is my, like, all-time favorite brush, probably. And all of them are from Real, Techn from Real Techniques, except one brush. And um, this is the buffing brush. And it's really amazing for buffing in. I generally don't actually use it for buffing in foundation or anything like that. But I use it for buffing in blush, for blending, blending bronzer out. I, it just gives a really nice airbrush effect that I really love about it. And it has a really nice barrel and I just blend it in. And I contoured a little bit today and I blended it out with it and my blush. So if you like my makeup today, and I think blending is personally the key. And this is an amazing brush for blending. And then... Next brush I have is the Real Techniques, um, and this is like the new color packaging, and it's the sculpting brush, and it's amazing for um, bronzer or contour because it just gets right in there, the area, and it's like flat and it's amazing, so I love this brush, and I definitely recommend getting this one instead of the contour brush from Real Techniques. The sculpting brush is a lot more densely packed, and I feel like it makes such a straighter line, such a harsh contour, but you can blend it out so easily with the buffing brush, or at least the contour I use. The next prop brush is the multitask brush and I use it for powder all over my face and I'll be showing you that powder later. The next brush is the one brush that isn't from um, Real Techniques and I got this a while ago and it's the Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. Let me just focus it. I think it got too close. It's not focusing, but whatever. See, this is the brush. And it's just a really nice, big, fluffy brush that's really amazing for blending out. And I got it in Ipsy a long time ago. And tell me if you guys want me to do Birchbox or Ipsy, which one you think is better, because I'm probably going to resubscribe to one of them. And then the next brush I got is for also from Real Techniques, and it's the base shadow brush. And I love how this brush is like tapered at the end, and it's really nice and kind of like flat because it's not too fluffy and not too dense. So it's really nice for applying like really like light hand shadows. So I really love this brush, and the handle's so cute and tiny. So next thing I'm going to be talking about is like the actual products going on your face. 
I already talked about the um, the the sunblock, but the next thing is the powder, and this is the C Cody Cote um, Airspun Loose Powder. Oops, just dropped a brush. And this is really amazing because um, it's just a really amazing, nice, loose powder that comes with so much product, and it's less than $10. And I got the translucent one, and it's just really amazing. The only downside is it does have a strong smell, but Patrick and Tati, Patrick Star and Tati use this. So I was like, yes, please, and my friend found it in a Walgreens or like, um, not a Walgreens, a Walmart or something, like, while she was traveling. So she got me one, and we're both, like, obsessed with that. And then the next thing I have been loving is this Revolution palette, and it's the Protection Palette um, Professional Makeup. I also don't know if you can get this in the States, so I know they just started carrying Revolution here, so, but, yeah also have got this for me overseas like Europe area like UK the, the company is made in London so mostly UK but this palette is just amazing has um, three concealer shades here oh and it's in the medium I only saw the medium at the store so I don't even know but this is um, like this highlighty shade this highlight right here is pretty amazing. I use it. It's more of a pinky highlight. And then it has this all over face powder. But this is really shimmery. And I don't use this one at all. So I don't really like this. And it's way too light for me. So I don't really like that part of the palette. But I use these concealer shades for cream contour but they're a little orange so I don't use it all the time and I've been using powder more it has a really nice big mirror as well and then I really like this blush right here I don't wear blush a lot and this blush is one of the few blushes that I actually like and it's this color right here and then this is the bronzer and if you can see I didn't put that huge of a dent in it um I actually my brush dropped in it and made a dent and stuff in it so yeah and this is a really nice color it doesn't have too much shimmer in it and it's a really nice color for contouring this is the color right here and I really like this palette because I've tried the Revolution bronzing palette that we do carry here in the States and I just don't like it it's way too orange it doesn't have any beautiful colors like this one and then I forgot this in my brushes, but it's this beauty blender. It's actually right here, and it's the sleep spray from Aromatherapy Lavender Chamomile Pillow Mist from Bath and Body Works. It's just really lavendery and helps me relax when I'm going to bed. The next favorite is this EOS Sweet Mint Stick. And I used to get these all the time and they changed the formula, like the actual EOS shape. But this one's like a lot easier to apply. And I really like the new formula. It is a lot softer and less waxy. So I love this. My next favorite is this Canon Rebel um camera case and it's just so helpful has so many compartments I don't even know what to do so I put my main camera body in this area I put my Polaroid in here because I just kind of put all my photography stuff in here but then here I have my bigger lens that I got but I don't use it for filming it's a telephone lens um, and it just goes a lot farther for regular shots and then I would keep this the lens I'm currently using right now there and then in this little compartment I have the extension to help block out the light for the telephone or lens and then um, here I have some extra like lens filters um, from digital concepts I don't know I got these as gifts so I just have some of these 
cool filters that are purple and stuff. I feel like that would be cool footage if I would try out one of those or something. But yeah, I think this is amazing. It has pockets here, here, here. So if you are a big photographer, I really recommend getting one of these cases. My parents actually just ordered me a really big case. I didn't need this big of a case, but they gave me one. And it's amazing. It really heavy duty. It has like little rubber grips at the bottom, which I like. So the camera case doesn't directly touch the floor. So, yeah. And then my next favorite is a backpack. Alright, this backpack is actually pretty heavy because um, I'm currently using it for school and it's filled with my school stuff. So here, let me just zoom you guys in. So this is a backpack from Herschel and it's a really amazing, great quality brand. And my mom found this actually, I believe, at TJ Maxx. And it was so much cheaper than the regular price. So it has these big like strap type things and they're magnetic. And then here it has a really striped, cute striped pattern. And you just pull this drawstring type thing. And then it has so much room in here. It's so long and it has a computer case fuzzy part back here. And it's really amazing. It just has so much space in here. And then it has two little part partons here. And this also zips up, which I like because it is extra protection and stuff for your products that so they won't fall out. And another one of my favorites is actually my free choice book for school, but it's The Martian. It's really amazing. I talk about it on my vlog. So if you want to know some more like extra favorites I have, then go check out my blog. So, yeah. Um... That's all my favorites for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that this video is long. And love you guys. Bye.